Hi guys, this is a disclaimer. This is not a tutorial on how to install a third row seat. This is just how I added an extra seat in the back of my Jeep. So basically, do it at your own risk. Hi, and welcome to Streamline Build. So today we are installing a extra seat in the back of my Jeep Wrangler JL. So this seat is a folding seat and the brand is Little Passengers. And so it has a decent little base right here. We're gonna drill in to the back of my Jeep. And the reason that we decided to go with this, facing this direction is if I wanna put my ice chest suitcases here, whoever's sitting here still has a little bit of leg room. All right, we're ready to get started now. We've got our seat. As you saw, we kind of set it in here, um, trying to figure out the best location um, where we're not going to interrupt anything by drilling underneath and putting our bowls and our bolts and large um, fender washers to sandwich everything together, keep it strong and tight. And uh, this plate has some nice slotted holes. It's got eight different holes, so you can use different spacing and whatever you need to do to make it work out best for you. What we did was found this bolt here in the tray, um, was an easy spot to locate underneath and that gave us uh, the ability to measure out both directions and see where we could fit it. So it looks like we're going to be able to um, use two outside bolts on this side, <clears throat> one outside bolt here, and due to the coil spring bucket, we're going to have to use an inner bolt in the back, but uh, should all work out good. So now all we need to do is just um, start our first hole, and there's a access hole underneath through the um, framing, subframing structure, and I want to just start dead center of that. So we're going to drill up through with that one, get that set, and then we'll be able to measure out for the rest and mark them, get this thing going. Here is the hardware that we are going to use to install the seat. So all of it's from Ace Hardware, and we did the heavy duty grade eight, three eighths bolts. Three of them are two and a half inches, and one is three inches because one has to go through a thicker area of the support part of the Jeep. And then we did fender washers, and then lock washers and lock nuts. So that is everything we're gonna use. So here is the first hole that we're drilling. You're going in that hole that's already right there. So if you're wondering kind of where it's located, it's kind of hard to... Here's just a quick look at the bolts underneath, where they lay, that one's inside the hole. Okay, so we are all done installing our seat here in the back of the Jeep. Now, one thing I really like about installing it in this direction is that this still opens and functions. Okay, and then and this is kind of how the bolts turned out down here. So plenty of room for luggage and leg space. All right, we're all done.